Hello everybody! Today we are going to make a sculpture of Buzz Lighter. As a base for this sculpture I am going to use a body 9 that we have made previously to make different balloon animals. I am using green balloon to make the body. We have to lock both ends of each small green bubble that we have made for the arms and legs. Later we are going to attach white bubbles uh, at this point uh, to make the legs and arms. Again, in this example I am using green balloon to make the body and white balloon I am going to use to make the legs, arms and the head. Actually we can reverse colors. White head, white body and legs and arms green color. Why not? Ok, so we have prepared the green body. Actually we don't need the green tail. So let's cut off nicely the end of the green balloon. Tie off the end and hide it between uh, bubbles of the sculpture. If we used uh, white balloon to make the body then we obviously can use the uh, last bubble to make the head. Well anyway in this example we use green balloon so we cut off the end of the green balloon. Inflate a white balloon leaving about 6 inch long flat tail. Here's a flat tail, quite long. Let's twist the first about 2 inch long bubble. It is going to be the head of the buzz lighter. We have to lock the free end of the first white bubble between the green bubbles of the arms. Ok, let's twist the second about 2 inch long white bubble. It is a shoulder bubble. Lock free end of the second white bubble uh, with a small green bubble of uh, any arm. The next five bubbles we twist uh, in pop-up twist to make the arms. Let's twist the third about two inch long bubble. In this example as in any other instructions I always give very approximate size of all bubbles. Twist the fourth soft about one inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. Now we have to twist the fifth about one inch long bubble. Later we will pop this bubble. Twist the sixth soft about one inch long bubble. And we lock both ends of the sixth bubble in one lock twist. After that we twist the seventh about two inch long bubble. The seventh bubble should be the same size as uh, we have made the third bubble. Now we have to lock the free end of the seventh bubble with the small green bubble of the other arm. Very good. Now we have to twist the eighth about two inch long bubble. And we lock uh, both ends of the chain of the last seven bubbles in one lock twist. I'm going to place the arms bubbles above the head. This way you will have better look on our sculpture and you will better see what I'm going to do next. Let's twist the ninth about three inch long bubble. Let's lock the free end of the ninth white bubble between green bubbles of the legs. The next six white bubbles we twist to make the legs. Let's twist the tenth about two inch long white bubble. Uh, lock the free end of the tenth white bubble with a small soft green bubble of any leg. Twist the eleventh white about two inch long bubble. Twist the twelfth about one inch long bubble. Twist the thirteenth white about one inch long bubble. Twist the fourteenth white about two inch long bubble. You have to make the fourteenth bubble exactly the same size as we have made the eleventh white bubble. Lock the free end of the fourteenth white bubble with the small green bubble of the other leg. Twist the fifteenth white about two inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last six white bubbles in one lock twist. 
The rest of the white balloon is a 16th bubble, we really don't need it. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Now we can split the arm bubbles apart. I'm going to use scissors to pop the fifth white bubble. Split the arm bubbles slightly apart and pop it. Boom! We can fix the arm bubbles in different positions, bring them up, down, sideways, any way you want. Also we have to get rid of the end of the white balloon, the last white 16th bubble. You can cut it off with scissors or do it with your hand. I rather do it with my hand here. Tie off the end and hide it between bubbles of the sculpture. Again, let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Basically, we have made the sculpture. Congratulations! We have made the Buzz Lighter sculpture. We can make it a bit better. Uh, let's use a permanent black marker. Make some drawings. Uh, let's draw the eyes, nose, smiley face. Congratulations! You have made the Buzz Lighter. It is one of the simplest sculptures of Buzz Lighter that we can make. Also we can make a helmet for our Buzz Lighter. Let's inflate a clear balloon, uh, making about 5 inch long soft bubble. We have to lock both ends of the clear bubble uh, at the base of the Buzz Lighter head. First I lock the nozzle of the clear balloon, then measure the size of the bubble. Make sure it's soft. Soft uh, helmet bubble will fit uh, properly the head bubble. We lock both ends of the clear soft bubble in one lock. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Uh, you may cut off the rest of the clear balloon. Or we can keep it and use it as a string to hand or hold Buzz Lighter in the air, suspending him in the air. Here's a back view and the front view. Again, here's a side view, the back view. Have fun and happy twisting!